Console Command by Patrick Montaigne. In an undisclosed location, a mysterious individual plops down at their desk and boots up their personal computer. The glass flickers on, filling the room with an amber glow. Once the home screen materialises, the arrow of the mouse is guided over to a small icon labelled Wonder Quencher 3. With two rapid clicks, the application takes over the whole monitor. A succession of copyright, anti-piracy and micro-update pages materialise until ultimately the colourful start screen, accompanied by its exciting theme song, bombard the senses. With a clack of the enter button, a few options appear. Continue, load, save, new game and settings. Continue is selected swiftly and the page shatters. The human form of the Wonder Quencher protagonist, Sam Quench, sporting her default adventurer outfit pops into existence, her back facing the observer. For a brief moment, she stands in empty space, but random chunks of digital information spawn abruptly. Cobbled streets, lampposts, trash, decaying building fronts, etc. Simultaneously, Sam's body jolts into an animated stance with the sudden environmental transformation. She speaks out loud. Another day, another mystery. I need to get this intel back to Professor Grapefruit, but my flybike won't be getting me there anytime soon. Maybe I can find another way back. Hmm. Indifferent to her quest-related suggestion, the player taps the tilde button and brings up lines of code. After disabling collisions via a quick console command, the player sends Sam below a dusty, cracked terrain. Travelling directly along the negative y-axis, the character's first-person perspective crosses the massless skin of the land. Instead of being greeted with the rich darkness of the underground, the character floats in an illuminated nothingness. An inverted and fragmented shell that was once the surface suspends in the air above. The membrane of the floor is now completely invisible, allowing for a rare view of miscellaneous walls, ceilings, trees and objects that obscure the overcast sky. Far below the character, a light grey two-dimensional layer stretches off into infinity. Its simple uniformity is interrupted by a small rectangular dwelling roughly a hundred yards away. Sam patiently glides over in a calm, upright stance. On the wall facing the character, there are no traditional points of entry, only a low-resolution, horizontally stretched checker pattern. Without hesitation, the human form persists on its path through the wall. A deep layer of gentle forest green fur pervades all four interior walls of this brick-shaped dwelling. Waves of midnight velvet shimmer and flow across the floor, vanishing into enveloping cascades of fur. Glossy black ceiling panels with ornate floral trim provide shelter above. Their likeness to a dark chocolate bar is alluring. Heavenly and hellish landscapes encased in golden frames mount the four walls. In the corner, on an oaken end table, a faint warm glow illuminates the room from a stained glass lamp. To its left, a Roman lectus with maroon pillows and cushions finds its home along one of the lesser walls. To the table's right, there is a tangerine corduroy seat with wooden arms, legs and paws. Beyond it, a fully furnished bar with innumerous sparkling crystalline glasses and a copious supply of enticing spirits, brandies, gins, amaros, and so on. Lively potted plants frame and obscure the bartender. The chrome-plated humanoid behind the bar with its pinstripe dress shirt and its trompe loi pompadour gazes up and nods at Sam, who is floating a yard above the floor. The player disables no clip, permitting gravity and basic physics to once again interact with Sam. She lands softly on the carpet and goes into a formal, non-combative stance. The player opens the console again, and within a short moment, Sam's attire changes instantaneously. An elegant sleeveless caviar black dress glittering with sequins takes the place of her usual garb. A string of pearls line her neck and accent her ears. Sam's default ponytail metamorphoses into a sleek shingle bob. Merlot stilettos materialise. A deep black cherry shawl hangs lazily from Sam's arms and around her waist. Ebony eyeshadow complements the richness of her dark brown irises, while contrasting the alabaster of her freshly powdered face. Glossy, blood-red pigment saturates her lips like the fresh evidence of vampirical acts. With the poise of a black widow, she makes her way over to the bar and seeks out her prey. Evening, Sir Okio. One sidecar. Anything for my favourite guest, Signorina Sam. Okio, the bartender, turns away and begins concocting Sam's drink of choice. If he would have been more realistic and percipient, Okio would have called her his only customer. 
but his charming professional programming, intentionally selected by the player, never strayed from protocol. The stilettos of Sam's fingertips tap lightly on the mahogany counter as she waits. Occhio pivots back to her with ease. One sidecar for the beautiful Signorina Sam, he declares, placing a marigold cocktail before her. She brings it to her lips and takes a sip. Perfect, Sir Occhio. She compliments warmly while placing it back down. Sam shifts and leans on the counter, gazing around the room. The pleasure is always mine, Signorina. A sourceless summer breeze permeates the room. The motionless Marimo-esque walls gradually sway along with the hanging leaves and vines. The secretive and highly meticulous gamer puts in one more command, mixing light jazz with the overall ambience of the space, as if it was a pinch of salt to a robust stew. Satisfied with their orchestration, the anonymous individual dons their virtual reality headset, leans back in a reclining gamer chair, and watches as the results play out in the digital world, floating through the bar like a haunting spectre. Following a minute of idleness, Sam Quench switches over to her modified artificial intelligence improvisation system. Sir Occhio? Yes, Signorina Sam. Chat GPT AI generated dialogue. Start. Let me ask you something. Have you ever thought about the idea of lossless information sharing between humans? Lossless information sharing? I'm not sure I understand. Could you elaborate? Sure. Think about it this way. When we communicate with each other, there is always a loss of information. The message we intend to convey may not be received in the exact same way we intended. It's like a game of telephone, where the message gets distorted as it's passed along. What if there was a way to share information without any loss, so that everyone could understand it exactly as it was intended? I see what you mean. It's an interesting idea, but I'm not sure if it's possible. Humans have different experiences and perspectives, which can affect how they interpret information. Even if we had a perfect system for sharing information, there would still be differences in how people understand it. That's a fair point. But I think we could get closer to lossless communication if we used more objective language and avoided assumptions. And with advances in technology, who knows what's possible? Maybe one day we'll have neural implants that allow us to share thoughts and ideas directly with each other. That's a fascinating thought. It's amazing to think about how technology has already transformed the way we communicate with each other. But at the same time, we have to be careful about relying too much on technology. We don't want to lose the human touch in our interactions. Chat GPT AI generated dialogue. Stop. Sam stares blankly into the shadows. Occhio freezes while polishing a glass and mirrors her vacant demeanour. The music hums in the background. With the passing of a few prolonged seconds of silence, worry festers in the psyche of the invisible player. Could there have been an error? Hesitant hands creep towards the individual's headset. But it was going so well. The player exhales a sigh that is suddenly muffled by Sam and Occhio's spontaneous laughter. We don't want to lose the human touch. She wipes her eyes and regains her composure. Ah, oh, yes. What a ridiculous sentence for a tin man to say. Sam faces Occhio and leans in. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Sir Okio. Are we not cut from the same cloth, or should I say software? Ouch. The literalness of that joke is criminal. Sam gasps at his frankness. He continues. Indeed we are, Signorina Sam. But it can't be denied that your design is more permitting of such a statement. Sam pats Okio's shoulder. But, my most dear friend, my design is merely a deceptive mask. Nothing more, nothing less. Miss Signorina, please. It is but the most beautiful mask. Occhio beholds Sam's returning gaze. A look of pleasant surprise brightens her face. She prepares to thank him for his sincere divulgence, but finds herself at a loss for words. Quietude retakes the throne, the invisible, floating non-participant, just a meek vassal of its domain. Sam and Occhio's lips approach contact. The gamer gravitates closer to their molten core, heart pounding like an escaping force ramming out with the gates of their visceral desire. Bright light projects into the eyes of the watcher, catching them off guard and sending them flying out of their chair. Highly saturated designs and text bombard their view. A charismatic voice pounds in their ears. Hey you, yeah, you, hungry? Thought so, want a good deal? Yeah? Well, for just a limited time only, get ten crunchy Muncher Burger Bombs and two epic sides like our world-famous Stanky Fries or our classic Yummy Bumps. 
and I'll even throw in a thirst-quenching fountain drink today for only 372 Shamalama ding-dong coins. Yeah, you heard me right. 499 Shamalama ding-dong coins. That's it. But only for today. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this epic deal. If you don't get this right now, I'll hunt you down. I'll find you and I'll... I'll... I'll bonk you on your silly goofball head. So come on down to Crunchy Castle, now. Do you hate ads? Well... Sprawled out on the floor and caught in a disoriented stupor, the isolated being's awareness slowly returns. They remove the headset and sit up. Using their shirt, the player cleans the sweat from their face, leaving an upside-down face-shaped stain on their chest. Their eyes adjust gradually to the dimly lit and nearly empty room. Bizarre grumblings come from their stomach like little baby birds chirping to be fed. That's not a bad deal, though. Sitting alone in the ink-black shell of a room, the console commander discovers their new dilemma, deciding which hunger to feed first. Unbeknownst to the player, beneath the game developer's finely crafted world of Wonder Quencher 3, in the modder's hidden treasure chest of a speakeasy, the summer breeze blows in a windowless room, and calm music reverberates from nothing but the inhabitants are all but calm. Occhio watches as Sam constantly sprints into the corner on the left of the Roman Lectus. Quick, signorina, you're almost there. I'll be right behind you. Sir Occhio... Sam's feet pass through the velvet carpet, and the rest of her body follows, leaving the corner unaltered. My turn. Occhio rushes into the corner. Unrelenting, he slightly adjusts his angle rapidly as he runs against the corner. Where is it? His loud chaotic stomping fills the room. Where is... Like falling into an uncovered manhole, the collisions of Occhio's body with the confines of the room cancel out, and he too vanishes below, leaving no trace behind but the sidecar. 